Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome back as we continue to create a binary search tree project in C++. In the last few tutorials, we wrote a bunch of code to handle deleting a node from our binary search tree. So in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and test the delete features of the binary search tree class now. So I'll go ahead and start off the process here by printing a message to the screen. And I'll say, enter a key value to delete. And then I'll say, enter negative one to stop the process. And then I'll do a new line and end that with a semicolon. So the first thing I should probably do is I should probably create an input variable here. So up top here, I'll just create an integer variable and I'll call it input. And then back down below here, I'll go ahead and give myself a little room. And then I'll make a while loop and I'll say while input is not equal to negative one. And actually, I suppose I should go ahead and initialize this input so that it's not equal to negative one when we start. So I'll just put equals zero up here to make sure that the first time through this is not equal to negative one. Then I'll print a message to the screen and this will be the prompt to go ahead and delete a node from our tree. So we'll say delete node and we'll give it a space. And then we'll grab input from the keyboard and so we'll store the input in the input variable. And then we'll go ahead and check just to make sure that the user did not enter a negative one. So we'll say if input is not equal to negative one. And I need to put that parenthesis back here and get rid of it there. Then we'll just print out a new line to the screen. We will go ahead and call the remove node function. And we're going to pass in the input, which should be the key value that the user would like to remove from the tree. We'll pass that into the remove node function, and it looks like I spelled end line there wrong, so I'll change that. The next thing we're going to do is we'll just simply print the remaining contents of the tree so we can see what's left in the tree and make sure that the right thing was removed. And then at the very end, we'll just do another new line so that we can see what's happening here a little bit better. Go ahead and save that. I'll save all my files just to make sure that they're all saved. So now that we've saved everything, let's go ahead and try to compile our program. We'll say g++ main.cpp, and it looks like everything compiled fine. And so let's go ahead and run the program, dot forward slash a dot out. And you can see here that Here's all the stuff that we have written in previous tutorials. So this is the beginning of the main program that I wrote in this tutorial. It says enter a key value to delete or enter negative one to stop the process. So here's a list of all of our nodes in the tree from lowest order to highest order. And if I remember correctly, our root was node 50. So let's go ahead and try to delete the root node and see what happens. So let's see, it says node containing key 52 was removed. The root key containing key 50 was overwritten with key 52. So the way that worked is pretty cool. The root node has two children, and so the root node itself wasn't actually removed, but rather the node in our root's right subtree that contained the smallest value was removed, and then our root node's key value was overwritten with a key value 52. So now value 52 should be the new root node. So let's go ahead and try to delete node 52 and see what happens. And once again, it goes ahead and removes node 64, and then it places the value 64 over top of the old value of 52. So now the root node contains key 64, and the node that contained key 64 was removed from the tree. So that's pretty cool. Let's try to delete some other values here. Let's try to delete node 87. The node containing key 87 was removed. How about 14? Oh, 24, that's not in the tree, but let's go ahead and try that anyway. Okay, the key 24 was not found in the tree. How about 14? 14 was removed and you can see that 14 used to be here and it's no longer here anymore. So that looks like it's working okay. Let's go ahead and try node 100. It says that was removed. Um, let's try two, three, 64 was the root. Let's try to delete the root again. And it looks like 70 is the new root here. So we can delete four. Let's try to delete 70. Let's throw one that's not in there just to make sure it's still working right. 45 was not found. We'll delete key 80, delete key 76, which is now the root. So now 83 is the root. Let's go ahead and delete 21, 15, 
83, and cool. Now it says the tree is empty. So this statement is actually coming from the print in order function now. So now we can just enter a bunch of values and it should just keep telling us the tree is empty. And it looks like I'm getting that double. So one of these is coming from the print in order function. I think the other one is coming from the remove node function or the remove node private function. I'm not sure which one I wrote that in. But it looks like everything's working out pretty well. Let's go ahead and enter negative one to end the process. And there we go. So now we have exited the program. So I'll go ahead and run a whole bunch more tests on deleting all these nodes. I'll go ahead and do that and make sure everything is working correctly for a lot of different test cases. And I think in the next tutorial, I'll probably go ahead and put a deconstructor in here. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been mentioning that I haven't been putting deconstructors in some of my videos. Actually, pretty much most of them I haven't put deconstructors in. I should probably be doing that for all of these tutorials. So I'll go ahead and put a deconstructor in here next, I think. And so anyway, stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. Have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.